Good morning everyone. It's Friday morning and I haven't vlogged since earlier this week. So I thought I would just start a weekend vlog. I haven't really got any plans for the weekend, but I thought well, I'll combine three days into one and we'll see how we go. So I'm not feeling the greatest this morning. I have start so many vlogs for that, don't I? Unfortunately. That's life with fibro as I suffer with it anyway. But I have had a shower and was on dress. Just making another cup of tea and having some breakfast. I didn't wake up till mm, it was quite late this morning. It was after six. Um, so which is late for me, so I'm still probably not quite where I should be. <laughs> as far as pain medication working and whatnot. But we'll just see how we go. Um, Mum and Dad are back, and I've already seen them this morning. They had a wonderful trip. They said it's the best holiday they've ever had. So that's, I'm so happy for them. So that's really great. Really good. I'm glad they enjoy it. I hope they plan another one. Maybe not for next year. Maybe not three years in a row, but maybe the year after would be good or something. Because um, when we want to do Europe, it's going to get hard to coordinate if they're going away every year. <laughs> um, but yeah, and whatever. If they want to do that, that's why not. They missed out on a lot of overseas trips because mum wouldn't fly, but they're doing great now. And really probably need to do it. Mum's, her walking's declined a bit more, I think. She seems quite wobbly. So they probably do need to do it while, while she's able in case things do get worse. With always fibro, I try and say, let's do what we can because we just don't know. I mean, hopefully things don't get worse with my fibro, but you don't know. We don't know what's coming. So that's my philosophy on that anyway travel while you can and um, still hope for the best but Lisa and you don't have the regrets of well I should have done that years ago which I think mum does a bit and I probably a little bit do I guess um, so you didn't expect to get into like fibromyalgia in my 40s so uh, so I'm hot and sweaty again as per usual but anyway um, yeah let's just still just shit my kettle's on boil we boil I will just see it's probably going to be a pottering kind of day I'll just see how I go see what I'm able to get done and yeah I want to go and spend a bit more time with mum and dad obviously so I'm probably not doing anything terribly exciting if I do happen to feel really good I'm going to get some groceries otherwise I'll do that over the weekend and just see go with the flow see what happens <laughs> but I thought I'd start the vlog today so that I can do three days in one because it's probably not going to be anything too exciting I'm hoping to go to a concert tomorrow night Fingers crossed I make it there, but we will see because I've been having terrible headaches and yeah, not dealing too good with that, but we'll just see. Hope for the best. Someone has mastered getting onto furniture. Hello? <laughs> what are you doing? Are you having fun there? He was on my bed having a snooze while I was getting ready this morning. <laughs> so cute though. But you can get up on all the couches, can't you? In, in my bed anyway. I'm not too sure if you can get onto your own bed, but... <laughs> You're funny. You having fun there? You're a good little boy. And you're a good boy. And Rosie's a good girl. And we have toys all over the floor. Well, I'm glad this is a weekend vlog because today's been a bit of a vlogging fail. Uh, I ended up going up and over, obviously, and seeing mum and dad after lunch. And then I went to pick up Christy, and then I've just done the washing up. Finally, I did, did get the dishwasher emptied, up, uh, emptied earlier and that was all I have done today. I actually feel okay now, finally. <laughs> and that's only happened really probably the last 15 minutes. I went to school, I wasn't feeling, did the school run, I wasn't feeling great. Um, so even though I told mum, I asked mum not to buy anything, I said I didn't really want anything, couldn't think of anything like she was asking for suggestions. Well, I had no idea, but she did buy me a few things because she's my mom and she can't help herself, but she did really well. I said, please only get things if you really think I would love them. Like, don't just buy something for the sake of it. And I, I think she listened to me. So I got this cute little um, Christmas angel ornament, which I believe was probably handmade, although it doesn't say, it just says made with love. And that's from Dubrovnik. It's got Dubrovnik written on it. So that's really cute. I haven't been to Dubrovnik, but I want to go there in Croatia. And then she got me a whole lot of golden things. So a nice little... A card and a little magnet, although our fridge isn't magnetic, so I'm not sure where I'm going to put that. And there was also, I'll get to it in a minute because at the bottom of stuff, um, 
oven mix in the same place with the same design on it, which is kind of good because I actually need a new, I think. I was actually going to buy another one. I was going to one the same sort of colour scheme I have. But we can use a golden, that's fine. And then probably the main present that I got from her was this beautiful golden statue. And as you can see, it's actually got gold on it. It's gorgeous. It is lovely. And that's exactly the kind of thought thing I sort of meant for her to buy. She saw something like that. But I could never have asked for a golden statue. Like, I wouldn't have been something I could have asked for. This was handmade. Handmade Mont... I don't know where it was handmade, but um, what it says in here. De Rosa Collections. A little bit of card for it. And so this is the oven mitt that goes with it. So that'll be nice. And I'll actually go nice in our fruit room. And then she also got me a nice. Christmas tablecloths. I'm not sure what size it is. Um, but yeah, I mean it's beautiful, beautiful material. So hopefully that can, it might even have to go, I don't know, it's not like a full size tablecloth, so it'd have to go over something, but I'm sure we can get that to work. But again, at least it's something sort of practical that I can use. I do like it. It will just be, I don't know, quite size. It might go maybe on my dining table, like over the white cloth or something, because it's not a big one. So, but it was nice, and I thought she did really well, considering I did say, please bring back nothing. <laughs> but uh, we know she can't bring back nothing, so I think mum and dad did really well. So I was very pleased. Stuff I got for Athena was lovely, and again, stuff that they really liked. Christy again didn't want anything either. She's a minimalist as well, probably more minimalist than I am. They did bring her back some jewellery. I do not know how much wear she'll get out of it because she doesn't really wear jewellery. But it's the kind of thing I guess as she gets older she may wear it. So and it was the two nice pieces. So they just they couldn't bring back something for everyone else and not for her, although Kevin didn't get anything. <laughs> but he weren't worried either. And I honestly wasn't worried if I didn't get anything, but I do appreciate. And we'll enjoy what they did bring me. Anyway, I'm going to have a cup of tea and um, contemplate what I'm doing tonight. Athena's ended up going up to Sydney to see her friend. And uh, so it's just um, Christy and Kevin and myself. So as you guys know, Christy tends to fend for herself most nights for dinner. Uh, we might do that rice and um, guardian mandarin chicken again, maybe. We really like that. Or I don't know. We'll have a look what else we've got that we can have. <laughs> Probably something easy that I can put together though. Good morning everyone. It is Saturday. I had to think about that one. I should know because Kevin's home. And we're just going to sit down and have some breakfast together. How civilised. <laughs> but a wee bit of banana. Kevin's got a decaf coffee and I've got my tea. Um, so yeah, but to that looks like a gorgeous day outside. Both Kevin and I aren't feeling the greatest. Unfortunately, so mine's a bit on and off like I feel all right and then my tummy goes a bit funny But I'm really wanting to take these dogs out. So hopefully I'll do that after breakfast And then I'll see what else I get up to today. I've got a bit of a list of things I'd like to get my groceries, but I can always put that off to tomorrow and I've got a concert tonight So cheer off for that because not my head. It's my tummy's gonna be funny. So Things are looking okay for that at the moment. As you can see Ben and got the groceries <laughs> I went to Woolworths, Kevin went to Aldi and Coles, and I'm going to do a haul because we've got a lot of stuff today. Good morning, Moo. Hello. <laughs> Moo's having a jammy day. These here as I well. Clothes on, take credit to the thing, the vets. Yeah. I'm Good. having the worst fibre fog day in the world. Oh, yeah. I forgot to brush my hair. That's why it's all stupid and poofy. <laughs> and then I forgot his lead on the top of the car. Oh. And it got, oh, look, you got hooked on the windshield oh. wipers. Otherwise, I would not have had a lead and I'd have to go buy another lead. I've got to give him a lead anyway to be wrapped around my waist. And I asked them where I should get one from. Sorry, so. Dar. Yeah, so he's maybe had a needle oh, yeah. and got peanut, got peanut butter all over his back. Because he had peanut butter to distract him from the mm. needle, but then he went to itch his back and then it just became worse and worse and worse. <laughs> what a mess. He is a mess. <laughs> he's so cute. Well, I am feeling pretty tired now, but I'm glad I got that groceries done because I wasn't feeling good earlier. I think I might have mentioned that. And I'd um, hung out the washing earlier and picked up the dog poos. Anything I haven't still done is a dishwasher. But I'm going to have a break now. Another cup of tea. 
and sit with my feet up for a little bit, half an hour or so, and then I'll probably do lunch, have some more rest, <laughs> and then I'll go and finish doing the groceries. Mainly because I've got to film them and then put them away. But um, I thought I did a big grocery shop today, so it'll be good to film it and share it with you guys. Because a lot of people enjoy grocery hauls. <laughs> And um, yeah, so it was a big shop. Anyway, I have this tea now, and um, that'll probably be for the afternoon, really, by the time I get that done. If I feel some energy, I'll do some food prep, otherwise, that will wait for tomorrow, because I was gonna be too exhausted before the concert tonight. So, kind of want to have a nice, relaxed afternoon, especially now I've got those groceries. <laughs> so, I filled my grocery haul and put most of the groceries away. I think I'm gonna take another little break, <laughs> have a cup of tea. And um, then I'm going to come back and make some dinner. Hopefully I am rather tired and a bit sore. But I think actually I'm just going to make that really simple um, pumpkin and pasta bake. So I've just got to chop the pumpkin. That's pumpkin, isn't it, that we use? Yeah, and put that in the air fryer, which I've already dug out. You can see behind the air fryer. And bake that. And then um, what else do we do? Cook the pasta. Pasta sauce. And... Um, very spinach and then put into a casserole dish and top with a bit of vegan cheese and bake that. So it's pre pretty easy. I've just got to do the pumpkin. I said, oh, but I just feel like I need another little rest. <laughs> it's a bit sad, but I don't know how long this has taken me, but it's, you know, I've been walking backwards and forwards too. So yeah, I am a little bit tired. <laughs> um, yeah, at least for tonight's concert, I've already organized a seat because I was just telling Kevin this camera had been behaving, but it's knocking up now. It keeps knocking off record and just stopping recording. So I hope I haven't missed anything. So tonight's concert, I have organized a seat for myself. Because with fibro, I just can't stand for more than an hour at a time without being in a lot of pain. So I've organized a seat, so that'll be good. Um, so I could be like an old woman, but well I am, but it's, this is for fibro. If I didn't have fibro, I could stand up for a concert, no worries, but not with fibro. I've tried and it was not good. <laughs> the results weren't very good so we don't do that anymore <laughs> I've learnt my lesson um, I was just yeah I was in so much pain and I didn't get to enjoy the main band that I wanted to see because I was in so much pain by the time the support artist had well two support acts that night they played I was just in agony and so was Athena and that was before they had fibro but yeah I was in so much pain we couldn't even I wanted to stay it was the main which is one of my favorite bands and I wanted to stay and meet them but I was just in so much agony, I just said, no, we can't, I can't wait on my feet any longer. I'm going to get back to the hobble back to the car, get in the car and drive home. So, I now know I need a seat for most of the show. So I can enjoy it, otherwise I don't enjoy it. All right. Another cup of tea. I don't know how many cups of tea I've had today. I'm thinking this might be like six. I think I might have a tea problem. Just a little one. So I've come back into the kitchen. I brought in the washing some, I think I did some washing as well, so I just put that inside. Made the, potato, the pasta bake. So nice and it's so simple this, it's really yummy. I've got more vegan cheese than I normally have just to use up the packet that was open, but so good, so simple, especially with the air fryer to cook the pumpkin in. There's a little papa down there, wanting his dinner, who knows, still a little while away from his dinner. I am changed for the concert. This basic black and a jacket. Um, dinner's in the oven, so I'm just waiting for it to come out and. Thank you, Mr. Whipnor. For making noise. all that noise. Yeah, I know. I'm just starting to get a little bit of a headache right there, so hopefully it will go away. If not, I have some medication I'll take, but hopefully it'll just go away. Kevin's waiting for me to finish vlogging so he can make lots of noise, so I will go and let him do that. Of course. I'm going to say good morning. Are we just having a drink? Can I just have a breakfast? And fuzzies at my feet. Oh, sorry I didn't vlog anymore last night. Um, had a wonderful time at the concert. It was so good. I was like, I kind of didn't want to go out, but it's been Saturday night in winter. But I knew from the last concert I went to, I really enjoyed it when I got there and I was glad I went. And it was the same last night too. I really, it was, it was really good. I hadn't been to that venue before at the Metro Theatre in Sydney 
and as I said, you had reserved a seat. It was actually a nice, comfortable lounge, so it was really very comfortable, and it was good because I'd already had to. When I got there, I thought I'd be behind the crowd getting in, but there was still quite a line up, and I don't know how long the line took to maybe. It was as long as I, th I think. It seemed like it was a while, but probably only 15 minutes or so, maybe not even that. I don't know. Um, but there was a long line, <laughs> and I had to wait in that to get in. But it was fun. It worked out really well. I had a nice view, and really enjoyed the night. So. It was good. I was battling a bit of a headache on and off. I just started on the way really up there. It got sort of bad. Um, but I found, I've decided the music's fine. But the, between the two bands, when they had they had music playing and everyone talking, and that, that was my head we got really quite bad at that stage. And as soon as nothing but these went on again, it was fine. So um, I don't remember having that particular problem at any other venue so it might have been that venue just um it was a sold out show and lots of people in a kind of a small space maybe that was the problem because the other well the other venues are bigger venues like more space seemingly so i don't know or maybe just where i was seated whatever i don't know um but yeah could have used some sort of noise cancellation for between the, the bands not for the bands themselves. It was a really good night. And I got home, I think about 12.30, so it wasn't too late at night. Um, and I read for about an hour. So, but I didn't get up until about 7.30 this morning. So yeah, it's, um, is that right? I don't know what time I got up. That's only an hour ago. That's probably about right, I guess. Um, but I'm not feeling fantastic this morning, which is not really that surprising, but it's kind of worth it. I had a good time. But we'll see, it's still early in the morning, so hopefully they'll pick up because as you can see, we have um, quite a bit of a mess going on. So we've got to wash all my vegetables, the fruits from yesterday. A bit of washing up to do. Mess, 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 mess. <laughs> and then, well, Kevin's going to deal with that. He's going to put that away for me, hopefully. And the only other thing, I'd like, if I get a bit of food prep done today, great. If not, I'll do it tomorrow. And then the other thing I wanted to do today was like try and get that exercise room sorted out so that I can try and spend, you know, at least 10 minutes in there a day doing something. I really want to get back to do walks and then something for even a short period of time. Um, every day was stretching, some yoga, exercise bikes, some weights, just depending on the day, I guess we'll see how it goes. But yeah, just aim for 10 or 15 minutes. And I'm trying to work out the walk with the dogs. I'm thinking I might have to shift that to the afternoon and see how it goes. Might go set a timer and plan to go. I'm thinking maybe like even four o'clock might be a good time. I don't know how we go in the summer, but it might be better now so that I could um, have the mornings to do sort of houseworky stuff, have a rest up in the early afternoon, and then take them out and then just sort of do dinner and stuff. So you know, I have to play around a bit with my daily routine, I think, to sort of fit everything in. sheets hung out and it's a really good sheet drying day because it's 21 degrees out here it's so warm the pool actually looks inviting how nice does that look though so that will be freezing in there what are you two boys doing trying to play so I'm still not feeling amazing I'm just trying to when I get up to go to the toilet or get up for something trying to just do a few jobs so I'm going to get into the dishwasher as well and maybe do the washing up and just see how I'm going after that. Um, I'm not that surprised I'm not having a great day after my night out last night. You kind of, you know, expect to pay a bit of a price. Well, not too bad considering. So that's, I guess, the main thing. So I've got a bit of a family, well, minus Christy, food session going on at the moment. <laughs> Kevin's helping Athena do her food prep for the week, which is coders dinners and lunches for Athena. I've just washed up all the fruit over there. Daddy, you use the onion knife on nuts. <laughs> I thought that would be kind of 
get a chunk of onion. That's not going to give you a nice little cookie. There's now a big ball of fluff. <laughs> but then I spent half an hour brushing him. So it's more than half an hour. Yeah, it's more probably. My last thing <laughs> was, was half an hour ago, and that oh. was like halfway through. <laughs> it did take a long time because he's still training to keep him fed the whole time. Yeah. But it was very good. It was good, and look how fluffy Only it looks now. Only one person got bit, and it was me, so it's better than yeah, mine getting bit. Yeah, better last time. I got bit to pieces last time. And I think the little puncture marks, puncture marks have faded, so <laughs> it should be good. He looks beautiful because he thinks when we're brushing him, it's a bite, so he thinks we're playing. We're playing, yeah. And he goes like feral, yeah. I'm absolutely crazy playful. Yeah. Rosie goes, I know all about this. Yeah. When you get in there, clean those teeth. <laughs> I'd love to know if anyone knows what he's trying to actually do. <laughs> I'll ask him, ask the trainer. Because yeah. <laughs> he puts his nose right in her mouth. <laughs> so, please, still got a bit of a mess to deal with. Me? Wash your mess. You need to deal with it. I will help you clean it up. <laughs> right, you made most of the mess. So Kevin and I just remade the bed, and we've taken off the blue blanket. Which will be freezing now, and we'll want it. But we can go get it. <laughs> you can see the motor. I can see three dogs. They all playing together. They don't usually all play together. I think they were. Demonstrated the electric blinds for the vlog people. Oh my gosh! No. Come on, let's go into the other room now. We can go back downstairs. I think the three that were playing together. Or is Rosie just having a silly? Hey! Bailey! So we're just going to get this um, exercise room sorted out. I'll move stuff. Putting all the weights, dropping the weights on the ground. That was nice, wasn't it? Yeah. Well, that didn't take too long. A little set up now. I've got some books, some folders, and stuff I'll bring up and put in here as well. Yeah, we don't really need the ladder in here, but like we don't want to get rid of it because it's the kind of thing a thing they may want when we move to Canberra or we may want for whatever. Same with the desk, we don't really need the desk, but we don't want to get rid of it either. Actually, the chair needs to be on the other side, I think, because well, we'll see. I'll come a bit later on. Because often if I'm like putting out folders or exercise plans, I use the table there. And I think it works. It's okay. And that's a fridge. I think it has the medication they have to keep in the fridge. And we've got some bottles of water in there, which actually might be handy up here. Um, no, no, you're right. So, that's what And actually they've got the bike in a different position. They actually still get a nice view. Anyway, it might be better because the sun doesn't obviously come in here in the morning. So, it's still nice.